Don't ever let somebody tell you you can't do something. Not even me. You got a dream, you got to protect it. People can't do something themselves. They want to tell you you can't do it. You want something, go get it. Period. Hannibal Medgebury is set to be the latest Manchester United youngster to come through the academy and for fans to get excited about. But who is Hannibal Medgebury? What I'm going to do in this video is run through his short career to date from when Manchester United signed him, from his growth through the under-18s and the under-23s, to him playing for Tunisia in the Arab Cup and the AFCON, what Ralph has had to say about him, what Hannibal has had to say about his best position. Then we're going to take a look at what his best position is and also why he's already a role model at 19. If you would, please consider by the end of the video, subscribe to United People's TV. All you've got to do is go down there, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. You get a ping every time a video goes live. You wouldn't want to miss it, would you? Top tier content, average content, but sometimes good. I reckon this will be a good one. Let's get straight into it. Now, Hannibal Medjby. For those of you who don't know, when we signed him, we signed him as a youngster. 16 year old from Monaco and he was a player who we paid 10 million pounds for at the age of 16 which is a phenomenal amount of money for a player of that age but it goes to show you the amount of belief that United had in his quality to bring him in at 16. Now throughout his career at Manchester United he's gone through the under 18s he's gone to the under 23s and he's always sort of played with players older than him he's sort of like being an age group above himself. And he's always been able to shine and succeed. Now, he does have a bit of a fiery temper. That's sort of part of his game. Uh, it, this famously happened, what was it, back in May? Yeah, May 2021, when he got two quick yellows, one for sort of waving at the ref. But you wouldn't want to take that side of his game away from him. But it, at that point, it goes to show that he was at that level of maturity, right? But Manchester United made sure that we tied him down to a new long-term contract. That was back in March 2021. And uh, for a player to... His career path has been very quick so far, I suppose. He's still only, still only at the age of 19. But it's what's happened in the last six months which has really transformed Hannibal to the point now where Ralph is bringing him into his first team squad. Now, let's look at what's happened. Of course, it's all been around his football with Tunisia. Called up here for the Arab Cup. And inside the Arab Cup, not only did Hannibal just play for Tunisia... Here he is with the Man of the Match Award. I think that was against UAE. Yeah, that was against UAE. And here he is with the Man of the Match Award against Egypt, who are currently in the AFCON final to play against Senegal. Hannibal hasn't only just sort of taken to senior international football. He's been shining in international football. And I suppose those who have watched him in the academy, you sort of... There's certain players you watch at that level... I remember it with Paul Pogba. I remember it with sort of Yanazai. There's certain players you watch them and go, they're way too good for this level. They're way, already at that age, they're way too good for this level. Hannibal strikes me as one of those players. But what does Hannibal actually think his best position is? This is an interview he gave on the Manchester United official website. And this is what he said. He said, I'll be honest with you. I'll give my absolute best wherever I'm played out on the pitch, whether that be at number eight, number six, or number 10, or even on the wing. I think I've got the qualities to play all of those positions. I just need to study each of them to make sure I tactically understand them, in particular without the ball. And then when I have the ball, I just have to play my own game and not feel any pressure. Up until now, it's been working really, really well. And it has been working really, really well. And Hannibal has been impressing. And as I said, when you, when you watch him play and, and, and you watch him... When you watch him, it's just he's an exciting player to watch. And I think that's what United fans are going to take to straight away about him. In terms of his own role models, who does he want to, ins who's he inspired by? He names three players, Zinedine Zidane, Ronaldinho and Andres Iniesta. And I tell you what, that's not a bad trio, uh, Hannibal, as far as inspirations go. And that's going to get United fans excited. And it's also a bit of an inkling uh, and a hint towards what sort of midfielder he is. He's certainly going to fit inside this number eight position that's come inside this 4-3-3 that we're playing under Ralph Ragnick. I think I particularly think that's why losing Donny van der Beek isn't going to be something that desperately damages the quality of the squad depth that we have. 
because I think Hannibal is going to sit there and be an excellent backup to Paul Pogba and to Bruno Fernandes inside that position. But it wasn't just with the uh, Tunisia at the Arab Cup that he's impressed. He also played at the AFCON tournament as well, playing with Tunisia, and he impressed there as well. And remember, these are his first uh, sort of steps into senior international football. And he played well. If you look at how Tunisia got on, they didn't do that well in their group stage, but they still got through. They beat Nigeria in the round of 16, got knocked out by Burkina Faso in the quarterfinals, got to the last eight. And Hannibal, he wasn't, I suppose, he didn't win the Man of the Match awards by comparison of how he did at the Arab Cup. But just simply playing these tournaments is a real testament to how far he's come on as a mature individual. And there's one thing I want to speak about here, which I think is incredibly important. And it's not particularly to do with the football itself. This is an interview that he gave to uh, La Parisienne, a French newspaper. Just have a read of it here. He said, it's an important choice that, a lo- that will influence a lot of young people. And what he's talking about here is his choice to play for Tunisia and ignore the fact that he could have played for France. Now, he was born in Paris, as far as I know. Um, and he had the opportunity to join a French team which is littered with talent, littered with quality. But he decided to go back to his roots. And this particular interview goes to show it's... This shows his maturity as far as I'm concerned. Um, It will be a good source of inspiration and I hope I can influence young people and put them on the right path. There are so many people of other nationalities who can return to the country of their parents, go back to their roots. I think it's important for Africa. And as I said, for a 19-year-old to be able to not only think about what he's doing, but also what his actions might do and might influence others to follow and do is incredible. But for someone at the age of 19 to be able to think like that is fantastic. And that's really the level of maturity that I think Hannibal has gained over the last six months. If you're looking at a bit of a slight of his game that he had with the under 18s and through the 23s, it was that's, you know, you always want your players to have a little bit of a fiery side, but sometimes it got a little bit the better of him. Over the last six months, I think he's developed and matured a lot as a footballer. And he will definitely have come back from these two competitions with Tunisia, a different man to the one who went away. To the point now where Ralph is bringing him into the first team squad. And this is what Ralph has had to say about him ahead of what could be his debut. Uh, actually, I don't think he's going to be his debut against Middlesbrough. I don't, I'm not sure whether he's fit enough to start, maybe a bit fatigued, but I'm sure he's going to be inside the squad. He said, look, we have Hannibal included in the squad. Well, he's definitely going to be in the squad. He will from now on regularly train with us and be a regular member of the squad. He will also be part of the squad for the Middlesbrough game. To be honest, I haven't seen that much of him as he was with the national team. I saw him play in the tournament, not the AFCON, but the one before, the Arab Cup. I saw him play in the final. From what I've seen so far, I think he's a promising talent. He deserves to be part of the group and the rest of the season and also part of the group for tomorrow's game. So Ralph there singing the praises of Hannibal. And rightly so, because as I said, he's a man who, yeah, he's, 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 he's changed from a boy to a man over the last six months, I would say. That's, that's the difference I've seen. There's obviously a change in mentality. He realises his position as an inspiration for others. And for Manchester United fans, it's certainly a reason to get excited about what could be happening next. As I said, we paid £10 million for Hannibal. That's, I don't know whether that's unprecedented when it comes to teenage uh, players, but it's a hell of a lot to spend on a 16-year-old, for sure. Our scouts saw something. And now I know that our recruitment has been terrible over the last few years, but I'll tell you one thing we really have got right. We have brought in some really exciting youngsters. So over the next couple of years, you've got Zidane Iqbal coming through as well. Um, There's a good crop of youngsters coming through, and that's down to good recruitment at the academy levels that we have done over the last few years for sure. Now, in terms of where Hannibal's going to play, that's probably going to be the next question you ask. And I'm sure you'll probably see him tonight. But just as a preview, I would say this is where you're likely to see him. Obviously, Paul Pop is definitely going to start here over Hannibal. I'm not saying that Hannibal's going to start here, but I'm saying if you are going to play him, you're probably going to be playing him inside that position there. And you're going to allow him to sort of drift forward here, be a bit of an inside forward, be a bit of a number 10 if he needs to be. It'll be like an 8-10 hybrid. That will be his best position for Manchester United. And that really suits Manchester United and where we want his best position to be. Because inside this system, where we've got two number eights, we're going to need some quality and strength there. You've probably got Bruno and Fred who can play on that right-hand side. And then you've got Pogba, and now you've got Hannibal as the backup there in case it all goes wrong with Paul, which it might do. I don't think it will, but it might do. I'm excited. I'm really, really excited to see what this kid can do because from when, from, from when we signed him here as a 16-year-old, watching him through the under-18s to the under-23s, going the whole way through 
to playing at the AFCON to now all of a sudden being a role model for other youngsters in sort of going back to their roots. I think he's gone on a very, very big growth path for the last six months, and I think United will benefit from it. And I'm excited to see what the plans are for Hannibal. Will we see him tonight? Do you think we'll see him tonight? You let me know what you think in the comments. How excited are you about him? I hope this helped you sort of understand a bit more about Hannibal, his career to date at United, why and how he's sort of grown and matured over the last six months. It's definitely a reason to get excited. Hopefully this video has helped you understand that. Please consider dropping a like on it. It's free and it does help the channel. Uh, and I'm looking forward to the game tonight and hopefully we can get to see Hannibal play.